hello coders welcome back to tutor and so guys making responsive websites are easy with grid but it becomes easier when we are using Kelvin CSS so guys in this video I'm going to show you how you can build responsive grid layout like this with Kelvin CSS and guys believe me this is very very easy we can make this layout in very few minutes so let's get it started and I'm going to create a new project and call it Kelvin responsive grid and now I'm going to open this in VS code so now for starter we are going to create a new HTML file that is called index.html and now we are going to import the boilerplate of HTML from image function of VS code by writing exclamation mark and pressing tab and as you can see HTML page has been created and now we are going to change the title of this page to responsive grid and now we are going to create a heading for this page with h1 tag and we are going to change this text size to text 3xl now let's copy this same thing here that is responsive grid and for now we're going to run this with go live and now guys as you can see this is live in our browser so now you can see the preview whenever you change the code so let's put it side by side and guys now we have to include the Telvin CSS CDN link to work with Telvin CSS in our project you can use Telvin CSS in two ways by including the Telvin CSS CDN link or by importing Telvin CSS with npm for now I'm going to import it with our link with, with Telvin CSS CDN link and you can find CD link on the Telvin CSS official website like by searching Telvin CDN and after that you can see this page and from below you can see the CDN link like this and you have to copy this script tag here and paste it inside our head tag now Telvin CSS will be working in our project and now if I'm going to change the background of this heading with background slate 600 and save it you can see that Telvin CSS is now working in our project so let's give some padding to this by writing padding 4 and center this text with text center and change this text color to white with text white and now the heading is done and to change the body background color we have to write class in body tag and in the class we are going to set it to background of slate 100 or 200 let's set it to 300 that looks good and now let's go to the main content of this video that is how to create a grid layout with Telvin CSS and for creating grid layout we have to create two divs a parent div and a child div in which I'm going to call the parent div as it is parent div and inside that I'm going to create a new div as the child div and we're going to give that name as the card and guys now we're going to create this card and after the card is created successfully we're going to copy this multiple times so we can create grid layout with that so now let's create our card with an image and for the image I'm going to write image and for the image source I'm going to fetch the image from Unsplash image API that is the pixel dot photos and you can give the size or the dimension of image and this will automatically give you random image every time you refresh your page and after that you can set the random number if you are fetching multiple random images in your same page so that every image is different from each other like this and now you can see image is displayed in our page and whenever we refresh this page a new image will be generated so now let's design this card 
and make this look nice so now let's give this card a padding of 2 pixel and margin of auto and now let's give this image the background of white and as you can see the background is now displayed in the page and and now to center this card component in the web page we have to write grid in the parent tag and set this card component to margin x to auto and this will be centered and now we are going to give the border radius to this card component with rounded rounded of a small and guys as you can see this card is sticking to the heading so in the heading we are going to give some margins with margin bottom of 10 or 8 and now this looks good so guys in the card component we are going to give the caption here with paragraph and for now i'm going to write image one and make this caption centered with class text center and set this font to bold with font bold and make this text size to text 3xl this looks bigger so set it to 2xl and now this looks good so guys we have created our first card component and now we are going to create this card component multiple times by copying the same card and pasting it for four times and now let's save it so as you can see here four card components has been created in our page but all of them are having the same image because we have written random is equal to one in every card component so we are going to change this to two and in the third component we are going to change to three and in the fourth to four and if i save it you can see every card component has a different image now and as you can see these card components are sticking to each other and we are going to give these card components some margins by selecting with alt plus left click and margin of 2 and now this looks good so guys now if i am going to change this to full window then you can see these card components are showing in only one column and this is not the grid layout so now we are going to create grid layout for these cards and in the parent tag we have already set that to grid now we are going to set these to grid columns and if the screen is small we are going to set this to grid columns of one and now let's write the condition for large screen that is lg column and grid columns of four because whenever our screen changes to large screen our card components will be organized in four columns so let's save it and if i am going to change the size then you can see the card components are arranged in the four columns but but you can see some stitching there so this is happening because we have given the margin of two but after that we have set it margin x is equal to auto and this is automatically replacing this m2 so we have to write a condition for the large screen so that whenever we come to the large screen or medium screen we are going to ignore this mx auto 
so guys by default this mx auto works for every skin size and if i'm going to write the condition for medium skin or in or large skin then then this will only work for a small skin and and every other condition is going to work fine and guys we want this mx auto in only small skin so now we have to write condition for large skin by selecting all the tags with alt plus left click and and write the condition for large skin that is lg and mx is equal to 2 now let's save it then you can see guys these card components will work fine and if i decrease the skin size then you can see this is working in every skin size and this looks good now we have to give some margin x in the parent division so that this will be little bit center so let's write mx is equal to 20 in the parent div so now this looks good but guys when we give this this parent div margin of 20 then this is also going to work in a small skin so for now i'm not going to give this margin of 20 in a small skin so we have to write explicit condition for this and we're going to give this margin to only large skin and this will work fine and now everything looks good so so guys if you want to create more cards like this or if you are going to generate more cards like this this will be automatically organized in the four columns so if i'm going to show you by copying this same card multiple times then you can see guys these card components are organized in four columns every time so guys till now this grid layout is working fine but to make this more smoother we have to write some conditions for in between skins like for medium skin size because currently this is working in large skin and a small skin or the extra small skin so we have two skin sizes left in Telvin CSS that is SM and MD that is a small and medium skin because by default this is working for the extra small skin and and in between we can write sm grid columns 2 and after that we can write medium skin grid columns 3 and now let's see it so now guys you can see this is working as some and this looks more smoother so you can do anything with telling css only your imagination is the limitation so guys thank you for watching this video hope to see you next video till then stay healthy keep coding and subscribe twitter and to get more videos like this in future